Hi beautifuls, welcome back. <coughs> cough, cough, cough. Hey beauts, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Finn. I post content twice a week. In today's video, I'm actually so excited. I've waited so long for this product or part of these products that I actually have a really, really different kind of interesting video for my channel. It's something I've never done before. This is very new. So in today's video, we are going to be testing a builder gel over tips. So I've actually got with me the Amy Lee Builder Gel. I really, really hope that's how I pronounce it. Looks like this, you can buy it off of Amazon. It's actually the Amazon's Choice one. This is only a fiver, so I really, really hope that this works. Um, Builder Gel is kind of similar to, similar to Poly Gel, but this isn't just any gel, it's a brush on one. So works just the same as like a normal gel polish, but it's Builder Gel, so hopefully it works. Um, once it's on your nails, it kind of is a little bit like Poly Gel, it's a little bit like acrylic, but you can soak this off, you don't have to file it down. So I'm excited. So if that's something that interests you, you're looking to buy this product, you want to know how Builder Gel works, how to pop it on your nails, if it works over tips, then stay tuned. Everything I'm using in this video is going to be in the description box down below, but I've got these tips with me today, which is what I've just been delivered. I've waited ages for these. These come with a tip cutter. They come with some nail files. I'm not sure how great these are, but I'm going to try them anyway. My nail glue, which is from Amazon as well. This is really cheap, and I'm also going to be using my Miley Nail Prep and Polish. Hopefully, this all together works really, really well. Basically, I just have really, really short nails, and I just want them a little bit longer, a little bit more elegant and jazzy. Not too long, just like a tiny bit longer. A small amount. I'm just going to start off light. So, let's try and set you guys up so that you can see what I'm doing. Right guys, so I already did my cuticles a couple of days ago, I don't need to cut them again. All I'm going to do now is go under my nail because that is disgusting. Clean up just around my nails, I'm going to buff off the uh, shine of my nails to make the glue hopefully stick better. Um, and then we're going to get onto the nail tips. So I'm literally, in order to buff the shine off, I'm going to use this. This is really cheap, um, I got it for Christmas a few years ago. That's why I'm using it, so let's just do that. I'm now going to take some prep and polish on a lymph free pad. I'm just going to sort of wipe off the dust. Um, you don't need a lot of this stuff, it's, it goes far. That'll do, don't care. Right, we now need to size these up, so... Oh, don't need to look cute. Um, and these are tapered uh, squares. Not sure if you can see that, but they're kind of tapered. So we're just going to size all of these up and stick them on. So One, done. I'm just going to see if I can file just the inside of this a little bit so that it adheres better. Um, if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to use my e-file. Okie dokie, I'm now going to cut these to my desired length. I'm just going to shape these ever so slightly. I might get my scissors actually and just kind of tape them a little bit more. Right guys, so they are my nails at the moment with just the tips on. I filed them all into a rough shape, I'll file them again later, and I've filed the top bit where the gel is going to go and where like the overlay sits. Um, right now I'm going to get out the builder gel, 
just have a quick look at it. I'm going to start off with my baby finger and just see how long it's going to take to cure. I've got my little lamp here, so let's have a look. This is only 10 mil. I'm not sure how many sets this is going to do. It might just do two or three, but it's still cheaper, isn't it, than going into the shop. So let's have a look at this. So as you can see, this is a really, really thick gel. Um, like I say, it's a builder gel. It's going to be a lot thicker. So let's just pop a layer of that on one of my fingers. Right, I'm now going to pop this under the UV light to cure for around a minute. Right guys, so I just finished my thumbnail. That's what they're all looking like at the moment. Um, I love that stuff, wow. It literally basically self levels, like I just plop it on the middle and then flick my finger a few times, like wiggle it upside down, hold it upside down, and it levels itself. There's like no issue there at all. That's no filing, that's it just self leveled. Same with all of them. I've not had to file the top on any of them. But so far, like, I am so, so happy with that. Right, I'm now going to go and struggle with uh, my other hand. Should have done it the other way around first, but I'll be right back with a final look at what I think. Right, guys, so the tips are on this hand now. I've kind of filed them into the best shape that I can, and I'm just going to be putting on the Builder Gel. But before I do that, I'm going to put on a layer of my canamine base coat just to see if these hold up any better than these ones um, and then I can get back to you guys I'll leave a comment running in the comments down below and you can see what I thought whether or not the base coat worked or not let's just do that Right honeys, my nails are nearly done, they're not painted, but I'm doing that in another video anyway, so I can't really pop that in this one. But the base is done, and this is what they're looking like. They are not perfect, but this is my first attempt. So yeah, these are my nails. They are all roughly the same shape. I might go back over with a little brush, but they are all level. They're, they're all like, they're just level, like there's no other word for it. They're just done, like, they feel really hard. I don't know why I use scissors to prove that fact to you. But I'm in love. I actually think if these last me two, three weeks, then that is a product well worth buying. It was so, so easy, swear down, swear down. Um, it was so, so easy to do. You literally just pop it in the nail like you're painting your nail. And it self-levels. Yeah, so. I actually have some nails. That's so exciting. They're not really short. So guys, that is the end of today's version. So guys, that's the end of today's portion of the video. I am gonna be painting these, but I'm not gonna be putting that in this video because I'm testing out a product from a new kind of company. So that's exciting. So if you like today's video, please don't forget to give it a like. It really, really helps me out. And like I say, I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. So that'd be so, so cool. Um, let me know down below what your favourite nails are. Are they poly gel, gels, acrylics? What do you get and why do you get it? Because you can help other people that are maybe watching this video. And if you want to see what I'm going to be doing with my nails, then please hit the subscribe button because you'll be able to see that in the next video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, evening or weekend, wherever you are in the world. And I really, really hope that I get to see you guys again in the next one. Until then, love you, bye.